Schule. Ums. Parade in open Ada. Roy just. Steady. Eyes foot. Sir, intake 2020 is is lined up in open Ada. Awaiting your instruction, sir. Parade! Parade! Shun! Stand up! Is! Parade! Shun! Stand up! Is! Welcome back to another episode of the channel. So, I do appreciate that you guys made it to the end of training. So, this will be the last and final video that I'll be making on training, which is called Graduation Day. So, this will be the final video. So, just to answer as well, and also before I get into the video as well, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also share the video with those that you think would actually help them or persons that are looking to join the army. I do appreciate all the support, all the comments, all of you guys reaching out to, reaching out to me and as such. So, I thank you guys for all of that. So, um, getting into the video, Graduation Day. So, everyone kept on asking me um what happens after graduation and just do you get to go home do you get to see your family and all of that all right so basically yes after your preparation for graduation day finish and you go on the field go march and everything you finish march and thing you get to meet your family your family go be there training on and all that stuff and you finish march you get to meet your family you get to put on your dcu which is a camouflage uniform and you get to go Spend a little time with the family. Yeah, you get to spend time with the family on a daily. You get back your phone because they can't tell them. You got to tell your family to bring your phone come uh, graduation because after you graduate or pass up, basically, you'll be able to use your phone and such. And you will put on your DCU and you will show them and you will take pictures and all of that. So, right there, so that's a practical after train. So, what happened after train? I'm sorry, after graduation to be exact, you have our victory mark that's victory march that actually starts early in the morning so i think that's downtown i go some part at this the the ocean front and then come back so yeah we have the victory march there and then after the victory march because i did it you go actually get transferred over to your commanding officer that will be in charge of you guys for the entire intake um for that period until your one year run off and then then we know if i get the work officially or if i get the work or not so Inside, when I reach Desano, right, when I get um, transferred over to your commanding officer, you get time to go home. But, and everybody will go one time. But, based on when we needed go, them they said they need one. So, now for everybody one time, but they couldn't because they need the numbers. Or they didn't need the, the, the manpower because at the same time, SOE was there. So, so, so they did so they had sharper numbers. And then we would have actually come can relieve the previous intake so then could I go and do other things so basically um one intake or one intake and a regular would actually get one week at home and the other intake one intake or sorry one company would actually um be sent home and the other company would actually go to range and then get classified so after that like after that um then everything we just process after that. So when you go home, you spend your one week and go tell yourself to come back X and X amount at um, date and exactly the time and at that time they have for me. So you go come back, yes. You go get time to go home and spend with your family, yes. And then after, when you come back from your vacation stay for the one with the other company go go out, your brother come, Alpha, yeah, and the other one you got range for classify. So based on that, when them come back now, then that's where you guys would be split up for do on the job training like who would have got 2GR, who would have got 4GR, who would have got 1GR. Me did stuck at 1GR. My guys, me did get stuck at 1GR because when I done graduate and everything, the same platoon where you did no final training and the same platoon you got in when you start off. Each, everybody go get put in a different platoon based on their last name. So based on where your name fall at that platoon you go place. You know. So you go have A, B and C you now on one platoon. D, D, E and F in a, another platoon and you know, you know it goes, vice versa. So yeah, so graduation day is a very emotional and heartwarming day. 
pass out, your family get to see you and all of that. And then you know, so this is the next step in regards to achieving the goal. You're almost there. Because uh, my intake recently finished the money contract and everybody passed out. So they officially um, changed over to JDF now. As when we, when we get told by my friend, because I reach out to him. Because I see it on YouTube, so I reach out to him personally. So yeah. As for those who want to know or who would like to know the reason why I'm not in it now, I will make a video later on down the line explaining the reasons for that. And also explaining the re explaining other things in the process. But just to cut it off, you do um, get your, get time to go home. And uh, not going to guarantee you that when you're on, on the job training that you're going to get time to go home during that time. But before you actually go in the job, on the job training, there's a lot of things that lead up to that. You collect your patches, you can name tag, Jamaica tag, your flag, your car back, your, your greens, and them things there. You um, go in your various platoon, you get your sleep area, your sort out. All them things, you get your locker and all of that. You make sure you buy your, the thing with you shine your boot, you buy your loss and anything if you use. So, just to sum up this video, because this video wasn't a long, long video, because there's not much that happens after graduation, other than you get transferred over to your commanding officer, and you do the victory walk, and you go back and you classify again, so you can't win your guard road, you can't collect your weapon and such. But that's pretty much it in regards to when you come to graduation, and when you pass out, and you get a time to spend your family, and if things go well, you can't actually get a one 24 hours or 48 if you live near, if nothing not really go on, but no. Things that happen like SOE, state of emergency, ZOZO, zone of special operation, and them something. So uh, the possibility of you getting time off is very slim unless you have some type of links with somebody and them pull two strings when you get some time off. But not to elaborate on that. But alright, so that comes to an end to this video. So stay tuned for other videos as well. I'll be covering a um, lot of topics that um no jdf soldiers go through and such but this was to actually clarify or to sum up basically what happened after graduation in the process so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video do be reminded to like share subscribe and also if you have any questions leave it in the comment section or also you can um hit me up on my instagram account which is in the description as well and i do appreciate our congratulate everyone for making it this far in regards to graduating from the training and i do hope that you guys have learned something in this so unknown ace out